Hello ladies! Well, let's keep on working on this. I have done the drawing, I have done the outlining with a waterproof marker, a black one, medium. And please be sure you use a waterproof marker as well, this is very important. And I have now here this acrylic painting I am going to be using for painting the background. And I am, this is a light pink one, light pink. And I am going to use as well orange and a kind of purple pink one. All right. Um, try to work with similar colors if you want to get the same effect as I am going to be doing. If not, you can use any other colors you want to, of course. And I recommend you to start using the light one on the top. And then you can keep on going darker and darker to the bottom of your painting and we are going to paint as well with it over the doll and um, this is going to unify our painting and yes okay I stopped talking just uh, just take a look the way I do it and do the same and one thing more before you start is I am going to be doing crisscross lines on the background but not on the face of the doll okay on the face of the doll we are going to try or we are going to have a smooth surface so please try to work on the same direction from the top to the bottom okay I don't want any crisscross lines on her face I want a nice smooth surface so I am going to work with my paintbrush from the top to the bottom just like this okay and on the background, to make it more interesting, I am going to be doing crisscross lines. And, okay, we are going to work more on the background after we have finished our dolls. This is only the beginning of our painting, okay? I am using a big, a big paintbrush for acrylics, a flat one. This is the number 24, okay? And as you know, I am working on cans on paper for mixed media. And this is the paper I love to work when I am using this technique. All right, then uh, watch the process. See you on the next step.